Young, President of the American Library Association, to the podium. What an honor it is to be here with you all this evening. Uh, on behalf of the ALA Executive Board, librarians and library users, friends and advocates nationwide, thank you to the Carnegie Corporation of New York and the New York Times for your continued support of this important award. We're here tonight to celebrate. We're celebrating the difference that librarians have made in our communities. Communities matter deeply to us as librarians. Only one needs to read the nomination submitted this year by library users nationwide to see that that feeling is mutual. The nominations tell in detail how librarians make a difference every single day. They show how librarians provide life-changing resources for multicultural communities and new Americans. Innovative learning spaces that nourish the mind and inspire a love of lifelong learning in youth, and reinvent academic resources to meet the needs of first generation students. These nominations say loud and clear the work of librarians is vital. In communities, campuses, schools, our work truly matters. Before we honor this year's award winners, I would like to acknowledge the members of the 2014 I Love My Librarian Selection Committee who read this year's nominations and were tasked with selecting only 10 winners to be recognized here this evening. I ask that the committee stand and be recognized. They are Barbara K. Strickling, past president of the American Library Association. American Association of School Librarians who could not be here with us tonight, but is represented by the current president of the American Association of School Librarians, Terry Dean. And Larry Neal, president of the Public Library Association. Thank you all for your hard work. I would also like to acknowledge members of the local library community current and former ALA Executive Board members. Keith Michael Fields, the Executive Director of the American Library Association. Sari Feldman, President-elect of the American Library Association. And the Associate Executive Director, Kathleen Bourdon, who's joining us tonight. Without further ado, to our winners. teacher, leader, mentor, guide, expert, cheerleader, and friend to all at Mills College. Known for his showmanship and creative approach to teaching students how to use library resources to meet their academic needs, Michael is keenly focused on doing his part to ensure student achievement. Faculty see him as their personal librarian and a key collaborator in student instruction, bringing sheer joy, energy, to everything he does, whether it is supporting sort of one of his 50 bow ties. Bow tie there we go. Dancing to the tune of Happy in the library stacks for a student video, or introducing service dogs to the library lounge during finals and other stressful periods in a student's life. Michael excites students and faculty to use the library on a regular basis. Please join me in congratulating Michael Cutler.
education, but I've got to tell you, this will do. <laughs> uh, I would like to thank the American Library Association, the New York Times, and the Carnegie Corporation of New York for this incredible award. Uh, I have other reasons to thank you all as well. Uh, I'd like to thank the American Library Association for over 130 years of supporting libraries, librarians, and the communities that surround them. I'd like to thank the New York Times for 160 some odd years of being a newspaper of record and providing me with terrific content that I could use as meaningful examples in my presentations. I'd also like to point out that Mills College only is one year younger, so we're up there too. <laughs> uh, and I'd like to thank the Carnegie Corporation of New York, whose founder in 1906 gave Mills College a substantial gift to use towards the construction of our old library, the Margaret Carnegie Library named for Andrew Carnegie's daughter because we were and still are at the undergraduate level um, a women's college with the mission of giving women who needed or wanted an educational environment where they can find their voice. It's also a Julia Morgan library. Julia Morgan uh, uh, designed the building uh, and it is spectacular. I would also like to thank our acting provost, David Donahue, for nominating me for this award and for being a champion for the library. The Mills Library Acting Director, Janice Braun, for her constant support and encouragement. Without her, I wouldn't be here. All of my colleagues at the library, most particularly the other public service staff, each of whom deserve this award for all of their outstanding outreach ideas, outreach ideas, instructional programs, and all of their contributions to the success of the library and to our patrons. I'd like to thank my family, who on a daily basis provide me with models of how to contribute to community. I'd like to thank my wife for putting up with me <laughs> and supporting my public service sessions. And thank you to all the students and faculty at Mills College whose thoughtful research, creative projects, and social justice focus make my career wonderful and meaningful. These are the people who are coming up with ideas on how to raise communities and improve the world. How can I not love 